Hi, welcome to this video, and uh, last time we, we got much, much closer to the movement we wanted, but you might have noticed uh, a slight flaw in, in releasing this as it is, and so today's video we're just going to mop it up, and the movement worked perfectly, but we, we kind of wanted to stop um, in each grid, because what we're doing is we're creating a grid-based RPG that the player is either in a, a grid um, like cell, or um, square, um, or it's just moving between them, but they, they can't stop between them. So we're just going to tidy that up today. So let's go over to the screen. Okay, so in the last video, um, what we did was we managed to have it so that you can move right, up, left, and down. A nice little movement there. Um, so I'm going to click into that, and I'm going to go to the event editor. And um, the way we achieved that was uh, as soon as you click on a button, it just does it infinitely. And that's a real problem because if I click right and then let go, I kind of want to stop eventually rather than just continually going. Um, there's some games that actually like Snake and stuff like that. Actually, this is fine. This works for Snake, um, but it doesn't work for our RPG where we actually want to maybe stop and you know just figure things out. Um, so we want to create some way of doing this now. Um, it's a bit of a caveat because I know exactly the way I'm going to do this later on, but um, that um, requires me talking much more about the uh, um, the uh, grid system and, and all of that. And I don't really want to go into that um, at this moment because that's going to be, you know, um, maybe next video in the next uh, few series of videos that we start talking about that. So I'm going to code something now, which uh, I know I will pro well almost certainly change down the line for a myriad of reasons. However, um, remember what we said that we're looking for the minimum viable product. We're looking at shipping this uh, thing uh, without having to add extra complexity to it, uh, and then we'll we'll do that down the line. Um, so what I want to do is I want to work out where the player needs to stop when the right, left, up or down arrow um, is clicked. So if I go into the frame editor, and I could do this in the event editor, I don't know why I just keep doing this. Um, so if I create an alterable value, so a new one, and I'm going to call this destination. My spelling is appalling by the way, I rely on spell check way too much, which ClickDean does, does not have. Um, so if I misspell anything, uh, then you can forgive me now. I'll go back into the event editor. Now, what I want to, to do um, is when I click the right arrow, not only the direction, I want to work out where the player needs to stop. So I need to work out where they are currently um, and add on the amount I want to add on. Um, now, we're working in, um, uh, I think it's 64 pixels, I imagine. Um, I would imagine that is what we've done, if I find it. Yeah, so 64 pixels. So I want it to move 64 pixels, um, which we did last week. Um, so I want to right click here and I want it also to set the destination. And the destination will be the X value, uh, position, X coordinate, X coordinate of the character plus 64. That's the destination that we're going to do. And I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to be doing that for each of these. So right click, alterable value, set. And this time I want it to finish at where the um, character is currently, take away 64. Uh, alterable value, set, and the destination. And I'm, I'm being a bit uh, naughty here because really I, I'm desperate to do destination X, destination Y. But because we've actually set what direction the player is going in, then this bit down here will know um, that whether it corresponds to the X or the Y. Um, so I'm kind of going a bit rogue. And this time it's going to be Y, and you can absolutely change it in here. You don't need to keep clicking down here to get the position. Um, X is obviously left and right, and Y is up and down. Um, so if we want to move up, we're affecting the Y value of the player. Um, and up is actually minus, okay, because it goes weird. Um, zero zeros at the top, as we discussed last week, and um, alterable value set destination, and this time it's going to be adding 64 because down is going uh, is is adding to the y. Really weird. Okay, 
And so that should work. That looks good. And um, that won't actually do anything. Remember what I said, ultraball values, they do nothing uh, for the player. You can actually see them if I run it now. And I go to add object, I think. Go to active objects and click active. You can delve into the, uh, oh, that's global, wrong one. All right, ultraball values. You can delve into it so you can see the destination there. So if I click on this and I go right, it's 128, up 64, down 69, and left, goodness knows what, I think it's destroyed it because it's gone off the screen. Um, okay, so now I want this to know about that, and I only want the right to continue as long as it is less than the destination. So uh, insert, and what I'm going to do is I'm com compare the position of this. So I'm going to test the x position because we're going left to right so I only have to care about the x position and I'm going to, because it's going right I want it less than, so lower than the um, alterable value retrieve destination. Okay, So it's only going to fire if the x position of the player object is less than the destination. The destination set up here it's saying oh I want to add 64 on to the current x position of the player and what this is doing is it's saying well hang on is the x position less than destination if it's less than destination keep going you just keep going there if it's equal to or more than the destination then it we want it to stop okay so if i run that now and click right there we are and it stopped if we click right again it stopped again right again it stopped again it works perfectly and I can see absolutely nothing wrong with that okay I'm obviously joking what's happening here is that um, click teams not precise no computer program is precise um, and I'll tell you why it's not precise it's because each time we're adding three pixels remember we're adding three pixels on and if it doesn't quite line up perfectly um, then uh, it just it just, so what it does is it goes one away from the destination and it's very very close to hitting it, but then it's going to add three more pixels on, so it's going to go over the destination and then it will stop. It'll say, oh no, actually it's less it's less than the destination, so I, I've been good, I've done the right thing, but it's two pixels more because it was one away. Then it went an extra three, which makes it two. Uh, it's it's gone uh, past the mark by two. Now if you're if you're a follower of Formula One, if you go past your mark, um, things go bad, and in programming things go bad. And you might think, well, hang on, this isn't a workable approach, right? We have to start again completely. No, not at all. What we do then is we just cheat, and what we say is actually we we want to make sure that the player's at their destination. So I'm going to get the ultraball value destination. I'm just going to say, oh, can you just make sure that they're actually at their destination, please? Thank you, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, and so if I run it now, and I go right, and you see there's a big problem here. And the reason is because I'm a numpty, and I've done that each time. Um, what I want to do is I want to copy this, and I want to say if it's actually greater or equal to. Um, the diff uh, the if, you're, if you've got one condition of lower, then you if you want the other condition, you say greater or equal to and what I want to do is delete that second one and I want to delete that first one so if it's greater or equal to then just set it at the destination and I'd love to say that I, that was a learning point there but no I just made a mistake let's have a look and see if it works right perfect 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 and just keeps being perfect so what it's doing is it's cheating it's moving, it's overshooting its mark, but then the program goes, oh, hang on, no, your mark was here, and it just jumps it to there. But because we're talking about two pixels maximum, um, you, you're never going to pick up that up as, as a player. Now, it might have some um, issues with collision detection if we use click teams built in collision detection, because technically that player, so when I click right here, technically that player is colliding with this square and then moved in back. So we've just got to be aware of that. Um, but since I'm not using um, ClickTeams uh, collision detection, um, then 
then it's not such an issue. Um, so I've got to remember what I'm doing here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to include that in here, but this time um, it's greater than, because if we're going left, it'll be greater than. And we're just basically doing the opposite, really. And lower or equal. And what do we do here? Plus frames move, which is fine. Exposition of destination. We just copy that, that's fine. And just get rid of that one and paste that one in. So Control and V to paste uh, on a Windows uh, computer. Uh, is there anything else that we... Uh, we haven't got anything else. Okay, so when I do up, and this is where you've got to really think to yourself. So it's, uh, oh, I'm not comparing the exposition. And some things you can't change, some things you've just got to um, write again, or you've got to just click on the things. So we're looking at the position, and we're comparing the Y position. And I'll just click nothing first, and I'll just copy this one. Um, so is it lower than or equal? So if it's going down, we're looking at it to, to be lower than, so just lower. Copy that, so Control c Control v Then we want the opposite, which is greater or equal to. And we want it to set the... Um, Yeah, that's good. Okay, and set the Y position to be destination on that. Um, what are we doing? I think I've done it the wrong one, haven't I? Been a numpty. Been a numpty. Right, Y position. Okay. This is where it gets really complicated. <laughs> I make it complicated. Okay, so it's going to be greater than. And this is where mistakes are made. <laughs> and lower than or equal to. No, it's not greater than. Yeah, it's lower than on the previous one. Oh, right. So I'm going to get rid of that and I want to set the Y position. So position, set Y position to blah. Set Y position to the alterable value of destination. Okay, and then let's copy that into down. If it's going down, no, I was right. If it's going up, that means we're looking at the less than, yeah, that's fine. If it's going down, we're looking at it be greater than, so lower than, okay. That makes sense, so I've just got these the wrong way around. Should be, if it's going up, then we're looking for it to be lower than, yeah, that's fine. And if it's going down, we're looking for it to be greater than. Uh, other way around, other way around. And this is always the fun, is trying to work this out logically. So if it's going um, up, then we're looking for it to be um, greater than the destination, because the destination will always be above it. And then we wanted to stop, yeah, greater than, less than or equal to. And then let's just copy this, and then we can just remove that, copy that, paste that in, perfect. And then if that's lower than, this would be greater than or equal to. And it doesn't matter, like, you don't have to be really paranoid about getting these things right, um, because when you test it, you'll, so you'll see straight away whether you've got it right. So I'm just going to save it and then run it and see if it works. So right, perfect, left, not working at all, down and up and not working at all. So that's absolutely fine. Um, so let's just check. So I haven't put destination, that's why. I, it's still frames to move. That was, I, I thought I, I, looked, I read them and I was like, oh, have I? No. So what I've done there is double clicked and it just allows you to delete it quicker. So you just go in, double click and click the right one. Uh, and there's loads of quicker ways of doing everything. This is just a kind of cheat way. Um, so I want to set to destination. So what I can do is actually go in here, click uh, that and press copy, control and C, and then I can just paste that in there and then edit it. And then this time it's take away. 
hold that control V to paste and edit it this time it's the Y of active and what we're we going up up will be um, minus and just click that control V and paste it in edit and then still it's Y and uh, down is going up oddly enough <laughs> Okay, let's test it now. And always, when, when I, every time I run this, it never does what I want to do the first time, and that's the beauty of running it. And I wanted to make sure I include those in these videos so you can see how I know. So it's still, so left isn't working, but up's working and down's working. So the only thing that's not working is left. I can kind of guess why, because I think I've written it three times. Yeah, I have. So that one. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's happening with this. I think I thought that that was up and I just got muddled. Um, so if it's going left, we want it to, to continue until it's lower than the destination. And we want it to stop if it's greater than or equal to. Um, we want it to... No, it's... No. Uh, so if it's travelling... So destination will be on the left and it's here. And then we're looking for it to be greater than yet. And then lower than or equal to. And you just keep going until you get the right thing. So that's so up, uh, up, right, down, and hopefully left. Perfect. And that looks pretty good. And you can imagine, like instead of the horrible player icon there, um, you can imagine someone moving down and left and up. And we might want it to travel quicker uh, and we might want to make changes later on and that's absolutely fine we can absolutely do that with this kind of simple coding we've only got to change um, two values this one here and then the value that is the alterable value um, for the player icon and that we only need to change those two things and we can instantly uh, change any of this um, so we don't need to recode and redo the whole thing and it's a really good habit to put to get into to store things in alterable values rather than hard coding numbers that you've committed to throughout your project and you might be thinking that there's a number that I've committed to throughout the project and again I've done that really deliberately because I want to wait until we create the grid and, and figure that out before I store that into an alterable value. Um, if you can guess what it is that I've hard coded as a number um, throughout this project so far, then uh, write a comment in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.